It is. Meanwhile, Claudio Montagna Jr. ready against Lester Gillis. Lester Gillis continues his illustrious career. The 54th out. He's only been ridden five times, and that's the fourth time he's bucked off Claudio. Yeah, and here's the thing. I, I really believe Claudio should ride this bull, but for me, with Claudio, and it's not just Lester Gillis, it's any bull that Claudio gets on. When his head is picked up and he's looking over here and the bull's going that way, he doesn't have a chance, whether it's Lester Gillis or any bull for that matter. Claudio, when he is on his game, his head is down and he can ride anything. Well, look, Claudio won under 10 seconds. Hey, Lester. And the ride only lasts 1.6, and Ty didn't even look like his head was in the game. This is what I'm talking about, where I think sometimes the mechanics, it, it, it moves beyond mechanics and becomes kind of a mental block. And you see this, as soon as that bull leaves the chute, all of his legs on his right leg, you can just see it. And when a bull's going to the left, your, leg, your weight's got to be on the left leg. Look how far his hips are out of there. I mean, he's right from the get-go, here's the bull's center line, and look where he is. You know, you, it, it's almost like they, they dread him going that way, and the more, they, the more you push against it, the harder it gets. You, you've got you've to loosen up, get up front, and move around there. But he needs to get a run going. With another solid outing aboard Lester Gillis. And just like that, we're going to have a lead change. He only needs 86 and a half, and he got 90. And that was just a perfect ride by Davison. As you look down this championship round list of bulls, 14 out of the 15 are on the left-hand delivery. Now, if you're one of these guys that buy into, I have to have a bull go a certain direction, and you're a righty in this championship round, you're beat before it ever starts. This is why it's so important to be just as good either direction. That's why Davis has a gold buckle. Good rematch right here. Luciano has had success against this bull before. Look for him to go left. Hey! That was the rubber match. And it looks like Lester Gillis, for the moment, will have bragging rights. You called it, partner, to the left from the get-go. But Luciano just started to get behind. Yeah, and he actually got ahead of the bull. Because you watch this here as Luciano starts to go to the inside. See the moves he's making with his free arm? Now he's ahead of the bull, but he keeps making those same moves. You've got to learn to hold with your free arm, and if need be, loosen up with your outside leg and dig yourself out of that hole that you're going down in. Patience was not there for DeCastro. The buck off stands. The guy a moment ago, though, who? Now down to five. And immediately, not only does Lester Gillis get a Gucci on the ground, but Lester Gillis puts a target on a Gucci's back. Watch how quickly this bull leaves the shoot. And watch how he leaves there without him. So watch. He's sitting there straight up. So you've got to have the counter move. He's already forward. When that bull blows forward, you see it. It's already got him setting up. The bull's going this way, and he's going this way. That gets his hips way to the outside. He knew it was over before it even started. I have never mastered the telestrator like you have, but when you have lines going like you just did, that's a bad thing, right? Yeah, that's a bad thing, yeah. <laughs> you want to get the lines going the same way. <laughs> now Jesse's got that left leg you can see up and now nods. It looked like he was able to catch back up, but then almost got a little ahead and Lester Gillis took advantage. Meanwhile, Lester Gillis, after Jesse hit the dirt, was looking for more targets. <laughs> he was still ready to work, man. It, but Jesse, this is how comfortable he is on the back of the bull. I talk about him not panicking. But if he can just get a little stronger in his back, that's what I mean by sticking his chest out, that'll keep him from wanting to go over these bull's shoulders like this.
Everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.